This is question number 28 of IIT Jam Economics 2021 paper. Let's see what the question is saying. According to Keynes, which of the following statement is correct for a closed economy operating at less than full employment level of output? Okay. So now if we go ahead and we see this, we understand that because it is a closed economy, we will have Y is equal to C plus I plus G. And we know that income can either be consumed or saved. So C plus S will be C plus I plus G. So S will be I plus G. Whenever there will be increase in I, it will be increasing S. Whenever investment will increase, it is going to increase the amount of savings in the economy. Right? Okay. Then, supposedly, I take this forward and I talk about the ISLM model. We also understand that this investment can be interest-induced. I mean, this investment is going to be a function of the interest rate. As interest rate is going to increase, the investment is going to decrease. This is going to decrease the savings also in the economy. Whenever I talk about, I'm just giving you some things first. Whenever I talk about the supply of money and the demand of money, an increase in the supply of money is going to go ahead and decrease the interest rate. When the interest rate is going to decrease, it is going to go ahead and increase the amount of investment in the economy. Because when interest rate decreases, investment increases. And when investment is going to increase, it is going to shift the IS curve to the right. If I have an LM curve, then the equilibrium is going to be with a higher level of output once the IS curve shifts to the right. So that means that whenever supply of money will increase, interest rate will decrease. When interest rate will decrease, investment will increase. When investment will increase, IS curve will shift to the right. So change in money supply will have no impact on output is incorrect. It has an impact on the output. Investment determines savings is correct. Savings determine investment is incorrect. It is the investment that is leading to the savings. And let's see the next one. Speculative demand for money is determined by output level. So speculation, speculative demand for money is the demand of money that is due to interest rate. So when I write the demand of money function, we usually write that demand of money is KY minus HI. This demand of money, which is induced by interest rate, that as interest rate increases, the demand of money that you hold decreases. This is a speculative demand for money. You don't want to put your money in hand you don't want to keep it liquid but you want to go ahead and invest it somewhere so this is actually a function of the interest rate it is determined by the level of output no it is determined by what interest rate exists in the economy so this is also so the correct answer is b investment definitely determines the savings